Hey guys, it's Pimp Daddy 28 here, and uh, today I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys a little purchase that I made a few days uh, back. And uh, so this video is not exactly a fireworks video, but it's actually more for the uh, ice cream and enthusiasts. So I purchased uh, kind of like a I want to say a one pound bag of uh, Dippin' Dots, um, and the reason why I'm actually making this video is because before I made the purchase, I was looking all over YouTube for videos uh, about how what the bag looks like, uh, the bulk bag looks like, and how I should like handle it because with Dippin' Dots, um, the uh, ice cream has to be put in like very, very cold temperatures and you have to put like dry ice around it just to keep it cold and whatnot. Um, and the thing about dry ice is you can't really touch it with your bare hands because it'll pretty much like leave a burn mark on your skin and whatnot. So you can't really handle it with your bare hands. So you have to either use gloves or a bunch of paper towels. So, um, so I decided to make this video to kind of give uh, other people out there a, a chance to see what it looks like and basically how to handle it um, to kind of give them an info video about it so to speak so I'm gonna have to kind of put some uh, gloves on here and uh, open this box up so we get to take a look at what the, uh, the bag looks like so see the uh, info here about the, uh, the dry ice so just make sure uh, you guys are kind of prepared for that so just wear gloves and whatnot and keep your uh, bare skin away from the uh, dry ice so let me pause the video here and I'm gonna kind of pull the uh, gloves out so I could uh, put them on. Alright, so I got my uh, my gloves on here. I got my cheap Wahoo gloves. I mean, I got this utility knife here so I could open up the box. Alright guys, so I got the box open here. So we're gonna open it up and kind of take a look inside here. And we got the... Uh, safety guidelines here for the uh, dry ice. I'm gonna kind of hold this paper up so you guys could look at it and just pause the video while you read down. Alright, All right, so in this box here you're gonna get uh, some spoons. Because this whole thing is meant for the purpose of like, you know, having a bit of like ice, like for like a party or a picnic or whatever it is, or a gathering, you just... It's for resale, you moron. Shut up! So, you get the spoons, you get the Dippin' Dots cups, and you get this little uh, ad here, I think, for the Dippin' Dots ice cream. Just pause the video if you want to read it. Nothing on the back. And I believe we get to ice cream here. I think I'm going to have to pause the video so I could kind of open this with my hands. So give me a sec. Alright guys, so I had to kind of take this whole container out. Um, it was kind of taped together so I kind of opened it up with uh, my utility knife and when you open it, here's what you get. You got the uh, dry ice inside here. So careful when you touch that and you got the ice cream. And this is what the bag looks like and this the flavor I got was Rainbow Ice, which uh, is my favorite. Now my past favorite was uh, uh, Banana Split, but uh, ever since I tasted uh, Rainbow Ice of, uh, like five, ten years ago, I can't remember, uh, it, became my, it became my new favorite. So, so that's pretty much it. So one, whoops, there goes the top cover. It's a one pound bag, and we got the flavor on top over here, and that's pretty much what it looks like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So the uh, dry ice comes to the right uh, of the bag here. Now if you want, you could probably buy dry ice, uh, more dry ice from like wherever you can buy it from, commercial grade or whatever it is. I know there are stores that sell dry ice or just kind of give it to you for free. Um, you guys will have to do the research on that but uh, in your local area or whatever. But um, when the original box and the original packaging, you'll get enough dry ice to where the ice cream will probably last for about a day or two. And if you suspect that you're probably going to get some more ice cream left over than you anticipated, um, just buy some dry ice, put it in the container, and just uh, pretty much leave it. Um, now, you could also do this if you don't intend to get any more dry ice. You could always put the bag in the freezer. Now, this ice cream has to be at a certain temperature, like 100 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, I think, minus 100. And that's the only way the ice cream will probably like move around as, as it does, as you see when you put it in the cup. If you put it in the freezer as is, it'll just stick to each other. It won't be like free flowing or whatever. And I don't mind that because if, if you ever buy the uh, the Dippin' Dots bags that come like prepackaged and whatnot, should be a photo on the right side of the screen here. I'll kind of post it for you guys. Um, now those are put in like a regular freezer. 
and when you open them up, the ice cream is uh, stuck together. I've bought those packs before, but they're expensive. They're like three, four bucks a pack, and it's not worth it. So it's just better to get the bulk bag. So if you put the bulk bag in the freezer, the ice cream will just be stuck together. It'll still be in a ball form, but it won't be like free flowing. So. Alright guys, so I'm going to kind of take out the, some of the ice cream here uh, and show it to you guys kind of out of the bag, so to speak. So I'm going to take one of these uh, Dippin' Dots cups here, as you see here. There it is. And pretty much uh, what you do is you just put it in the bag, reach in and scoop out as much ice cream as you can. So pretty much here's the bag. I already opened it up uh, earlier. bought this about or it came in, or should I say, about nine hours ago. So as you see here, it's kind of frozen a little bit off to one side. I'm guessing that's because the dry ice is kind of uh, melting. Either that or on the one side that it was on that wasn't kind of covered by the ice, it, I guess it kind of got warm, and as it gets warm, it kind of sticks together, and then after that, if it gets warm enough, it'll melt. So um, I do have one side here, the left side, where it's kind of still loose. So you just kind of reach in here and oops, scoop in, as you see here, and you want to kind of pretty much make sure you get any loose ice cream out of the way so you don't want to spill it. You want to have a bit of an overflow. And there you have it. You got your little treat here ready to go. So like I said, it's perfect for like outdoor get-togethers like picnics or reunions or whatever. Or with my case, as you probably see on my channel most of the time, uh, fireworks, 4th of July, which is what I also usually do. Um, so, like I mentioned, I wanted to kind of post this video to kind of show you guys pretty much what the bulk bag looks like and I guess how to go about storing it. Now, you got two different ways of storing it where you want to keep it in this form where the balls are loose. You got... You could keep this styrofoam chest that they kind of give you and with the dry ice and you could buy some more dry ice from like a local retailer or whatever and just keep storing dry ice in order to keep the, um, the ice cream kind of still loose. Or you could get one of those special type of uh, fridge like refrigerators where it keeps temperatures very, very, very low, but it's very expensive. And I think it's like five, six hundred bucks. It's not even worth it in my opinion. I mean, just for dipping Dots. I mean, I know it's probably used for other things, but that's the only thing that comes to my mind that I could use it for but at any rate um, so you got those two options um, or if you're like me I'll probably eat what I can that's loose the first day it comes and then put the rest in the freezer uh, which I'll show you here alright so uh, here's pretty much where I put some of the uh, ice cream earlier and I'll do the same thing with uh, this one so that's what I'm pretty much gonna do I'm gonna fill up uh, these cups and just Put them in the freezer, and whenever I feel I want to eat some, I just take them out and wait till it melts a little bit, and I'll just eat it. So it'll it'll stick together because it, this is it's not cold enough to keep the dipping knots like kind of like loose, but it'll, it'll at least be frozen. You know, it won't be like where how it is when you first get it, but it's still good enough in my opinion. So okay, guys, so uh, we have uh, some of these uh, cups filled with uh, dipping dots ice cream. Uh, I've had it. Uh, in this freezer now for about a couple days so as I mentioned uh, while it isn't gonna be like in regular Dippin' Dots form I'm gonna take a cup out here so I can kind of show you guys what I mean so pretty much um, the Dippin' Dots aren't like free moving like the balls aren't like can't like grab at it and it'll move very easily and you can't really exactly easily poke at it with a spoon or whatever you may have to like leave it a little bit maybe for like a minute or two when you take it out of the freezer and let it melt a little bit then it'll be kind of like easy to kind of poke at and then you could kind of scoop with a spoon um, but it pretty much it's still in you see the ice cream it's still in pretty much ball form it's just kind of stuck together it's not really at like the cold stage where it's like negative uh, either 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Fahrenheit I don't know exactly the temperature it's supposed to be at but in a regular freezer like this, it's probably going to be not pretty closer to zero degrees, you know, uh, Fahrenheit rather than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so it's it's cold enough to where it will freeze the ice cream, but it won't like make it cold enough to where 
the ice cream will be like free flowing or whatever. So you need if if you want that, you'll either have to get dry ice as I mentioned before, put it around the uh, the bag, the bulk bag that you would get, and then the ice cream would be like free flowing uh, all the time, as long as you keep filling the chest with uh, uh, dry ice. Or you could get a special like freezer that will kind of make the ice cream remain loose but those are pretty expensive as I mentioned before so yeah ice cream is still pretty much in its same form it's like like I mentioned it's just stuck together but still every bit as good as it, as it is if it was loose and I just pretty much got it out of uh, the bag or if I went to one of those stands and I got a fresh cup of uh, Dippin' Dots. Alright guys so here's pretty much an example of uh, one of those cups that I had uh, in the freezer left it out for about you know four or five minutes or so and you know it's pretty much loose as it is and like if, if it was like kind of fresh and I just and you could you know like kind of like when you get it from a stand it's kind of the balls are moving all over the place and if you leave it out for you know five minutes or so or ten minutes or so whatever it is it'll pretty much uh, look the same and probably uh, move the same as I'm uh, kind of moving here so it's pretty much the same thing I'm looking at this now you know buying the bulk bag I'm not really buying into the whole, well, you need a special freezer, or oh, you need to keep buying dry ice to keep it fresh. I guess you might need that if uh, if you plan on uh, giving more Dippin' Dots to a big party of people, I guess, later on, but, I mean, if you're just, if you have leftovers and you just want to kind of keep them for yourself or whatever, or if just like me, when I, I bought this, I just pretty much bought it for the house, not like for a party or a picnic or anything like that it's pretty much still good you know it still tastes great it pretty much tastes the same as I it tastes when I first got the bag and I was able to take the ice cream out of the bag where it was still loose and still like frozen solid at like a negative 100 degrees or whatever it is because in, in the sol in that form you could see that the, the Dippin' Dots are kind of shiny and they were like that even in the freezer, if you guys noticed. And that's because it's not at the cold enough temperature that it's supposed to be at where it'll, it'll kind of look like it's like frozen solid, not wet at all. And pretty much like free moving and whatnot. So it's kind of like, you reach a temperature where it's still frozen, but it kind of gets, it's melted enough where it's kind of stuck together. So. so yeah, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, the ice cream, in my opinion, still tastes great the shape and the whole form of it and not being able to move as freely when you put it in like a regular home freezer it's not a big deal to me and I'm pretty sure it won't be a big deal to most people so so that's what pretty much my opinion on it so yeah that's pretty much it um hope you guys enjoyed this video I know um you guys are used to uh most of my uh viewers are used to watching uh, me posting videos about fireworks and whatnot and I will be uh kind of resuming that hopefully real soon but I just wanted to do this video because I couldn't find any video of this on YouTube and I felt that I probably had to do one so in case people do research and whatnot on Dippin' Nuts. And it's pretty good ice cream and that's why I wanted to do it. So there you have it. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, very informative video and I'll see you guys next time.